morning, it's、uh, 9:01 Saturday morning, VOV. 9 to 9:30 every Saturday, we talk about living and how you can live longer and how we can build a healthier nation.、Uh, hope you had a good week. I want to give a shout out to Xavier. I've been looking for Xavier forever. A nice 11 year old, 12 year old, actually, boy.、Um, Uh, yeah, last time I saw him was at a Christmas party and I couldn't find him and I found him and I got a good gift for you, boy. I got a, Xavier, I got a, I'm gonna design this gift for you. So I'm glad I got your phone number so I can keep in touch with you. Nice fella, wonderful fella. Yes,、uh, also from Welch's Post Office. Uh, Rudette, I tell you, big yacht girl, so here you go, and I、uh, hope you have a good Saturday. And all you guys out there, whether you're in a car or、uh, wherever you are,、uh, just sit down and enjoy what I have for you. Music will calm your soul and also give food of thoughts. And, and we got on、uh, CBC,、uh, that was,、uh, we talked about,、uh, Dr. Marshall was talking about. How you brush your teeth, and you know, at this age, I didn't know that you had to do the circle down on the crossway, circle motion、uh, right across the mouth, even the cheeks. You got to brush your cheeks, isn't that something? The studies have shown that、uh, if you have gum disease or periodontal disease, you have a high incidence of heart disease and plucking and heart attacks. So be careful. Take care of the mouth, and we're gonna come back. You know, I wanna read something to you. This guy, Charles Wright, and the Wax 103rd Rhythm Band. He was the original guy in 1971,、uh, Express Yourself, and then he go, you know, they got a, a hip hop、uh, crew,、uh, took over, and so forth, and, and renew, remade that song, and so forth. But, you know, what he said, I wonder what he was on when he said it. Here he says, listen to this It's not what you look like when you're doing what you're doing. It's what you're doing when you're doing what you look like you're doing. Isn't that something? I'm <laughs> reading it for you. It's not what you look like when you're doing. It's what you're doing when you're doing what you look like you're doing. Just right. You must master your craft. Express yourself, and I'll be right back. Yeah, that was, that was, express yourself, the got a hip hop、uh, crew, we did that.、Um, yes, express yourself and master your craft. They say I'm a genius, but I don't think so. Yeah, I guess they're thinking, people are saying I'm a genius, I can't be a genius. But if you're gonna do surgery that people can do, get into the heart and fix hearts, <laughs> you're not trained, boy. You have to be one hell of a genius. No, I'm not. You know, I just master my craft and,、um, it's good. Now, we were living and how you could, what things you can do to,、uh, improve your lifespan and so forth. My guys, I try every morning to come out and give you feed, food of thoughts and how you should sleep well and how you should,、uh, you know, drink a lot of water. Uh, four to six glasses of water every day and try to stay away from, you know, saturated fats. Go for the polyunsaturated or poly、uh, or monounsaturated fats. Those are the fats that are good for you and eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Do you know what's the number one cause of death in the world? Cardiovascular disease, stroke, heart attack, or a clot in the lung, we call it pulmonary embolus. What comes after that? Cancer. Well,、ah, but you want to live forever, right? It's all about the genes, yes, but also a modification of lifestyle. We'll talk about one of the most important things you could stay away from, which could increase your lifespan when I come back. I want to live forever.、Uh, why did Methuselah live so long? 969 years. Why did Noah make 930? We are making tops. Women make up an average of 82, and we make 78, and men. So, why? That's a food for thought, huh? If you got some, if you think you can answer that question for me,、um, uh, you can call us 4341 7714341790 and 4341791. Forever young with Jay Z. I want to live forever in the land where the sun shines forever. I'll be right back.
Trevor Young there with Jay-Z and Mr. Hudson. A beautiful, nice composition there, living forever. Why can't we do 47, 46, 45, 44, 43? Why we have to go 47, 48, 49? <laughs> Moving backwards. Anyway, if you modify your lifestyle, you know, you try to do the things that, uh, according to the popular studies, would show. And you're what you eat. You can prolong your lifestyle, even though the genes might be against you. Yes, of course. We talk about modifying your risk factors. And we talk about the uh, number one cause of death, cardiovascular, something to do with the blood vessels. The arterial tree, clot somewhere. Stroke, if it's in the brain. Heart attack, if it's in the heart. And pulmonary embolus, if it's in the lung. But also, you know, clots can happen elsewhere in the extremities, as a matter of fact, and also in the kidneys and all those things, and kill tissue. So, how about smoking the number one? Well, even before that, the second cause of death, really, in females, breast cancer, and males, prostate cancer, guys. And then we go to the third cause of death is colorectal cancer. Colon. That is why you see I talk about eating all these fruits and vegetables. Do you know eat a lot of fruits and vegetables? I know. Some people like it, but some people don't. I don't, but I do eat it because I've had enough of all the fatty stuff in my life. I do a lot of fruits and vegetables right now. It decreases the incidence of cancer of the colon. So guys, you look at all the things that can probably take you and you just try to modify. Look at your family trees. See with the genes of everybody around you, mom, grandfather, grand uncle, and so forth, dying of a certain problem, but it's cancer. You know, odds are you get it too. You got at least more than a ten percent chance of have well, a ten times more chance of having it. And if you die of heart attacks, it's the same thing. Your chances are you leave that way. If number one cause of death is heart attacks and cardiovascular in nature. And you've got a lot of your family, then you you multiply it times, multi, multiple times actually, chances are every year over age 40. Get a stress test done, you hear me? Go and get a stress test so you could take care of the stuff before it happens. But smoking, I know you guys don't smoke, I hope not. Smoking is worse than drinking actually damage your liver and give you some memory problems and damage your brain and so forth and not to mention it could eventually cause cancer of the throat and all those things but smoking it causes cancer of everything head and neck how about nose mouth esophageal stomach kidneys liver uh, lung heart attacks how about pancreatic cancer colon cancer rectal cancer you name them just the 13 almost and they keep going. Smoking will cause that. You should not smoke. And you guys who smoke, please think about your children. Uh, passive smoking. Uh, there's an increased incidence of cancer in people who smoke passively, meaning somebody in the house smoke. And you don't smoke and you're smelling that stuff. So please, you're killing yourself. Please don't. But if you have to, just go outside and leave the family, the wonderful, beautiful children, and the wife or the husband, and there, and, 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 you know, decrease their risk considerably. So smoking, you should stop. It's one of the most, um, of, of all the risk factors, one of the most important, modifiable risk factor for not only heart problems and cardiovascular problems, but for cancer. So you stay away from that. If you could, please do. And there is out there. There's help out there for you. We keep going down. We'll talk about other things. And I like this one here. The Eagles Hotel, California. I'll take one or two calls today and whatever you want to talk about. The doc came in here just to help you. Every Saturday morning, 9 to 9 30, we hear this program is about health made in a nice, fashionable way. Somebody's in the line. I'll take that one. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Sparman. Good morning, ma'am. How can I be of service? Pleasant, pleasant Saturday morning to you. Thank you very much. And the same to you. How are you? Not bad, ma'am. It's always a pleasure having you in the house. <laughs> there you go. I like being here, too. Checking on your heart. Why do you check my body heart? Do you hear? What's that? 
I want to check two pin heart for me too. Well, you know, I, at this point in my life, I don't even have to put a stethoscope in there. What's I, can, I, I don't have to put a stethoscope on anybody's chest anymore. Mm -hmm. I can look right through the shirt and right uh -huh. through the chest and see what's going on. His heart rate right now is like 78 beats per minute and it seems to be extremely strong. So I think he's cool. It has to be strong because you got a lot of love in 38. <laughs> a lot of love in our happy about you. Keep it, keep on that love, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling, my Listen, dear. Listen, I want to ask a question. What's that? Um... In little children, can uh -huh. little children um, have a heart attack like, like a baby or in five years old like that? Nah? No, normally it doesn't happen, but there's something called congenital heart disease. Mm. Where you're born with a hole in your heart or you may be born with some type of transposition of mm. the vessels where one vessel is supposed to be in one chamber, it's in another chamber. And all these type of things is something called patent ductus arteriosus, which is another, you know, something that should close and a hole across the arterial system. Okay. A lot of times they put a lot of strain on them. They mm. may not have a heart attack, but most times they have Heart failure. Heart failure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And they get so, blue. They get blue and stuff like that. Yeah. So if they begin to cry a lot, not they could irritate it. If you what? Start to cry, the baby begin to cry a lot. Thing is interrupted a little bit. Mm. So a lot of times these these patients should be evaluated early by a pediatric uh, cardiologist to see what's going on, so that correction can be made before they get into real problems. Because yes. once the heart get enlarged, then you know it's hard to turn back. Yes. But you know when you're pregnant, yeah, uh -huh. you have the heartbeat check. Uh -huh. Could you could you could determine anything from the heartbeat in, from in the womb? Yes, you could because a lot of times when you see the babies in distress, that heart rate goes up very very high, or mm. it gets very low. A Whoa. baby in utero, if you're in there, your heart rate shouldn't be doing sixty beats per minute, or or hundred be or one hundred beats per minute. Mm. It should be one over 125 okay. so one of the doc the, the one of the doctors would do if they see the heart rate drop they know the baby's in distress so mm. yes heart rate will tell you exactly what's going on but then you have the ultrasound and ultrasound can tell you a lot of things while the baby's still in there or when mm. the, the uterus is still in the uterus actually right. when the fetus is still in there mm. and they can basically uh, make diagnosis and initiate treatment at the early stage okay Pleasure. Thank you for calling. Pleasure man. hearing you too, and God oh, bless you, man. Yes, yes. You keep on have a nice day. Thank you very much all the time. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Dr. Sparman, you on the air. Good morning. Sir. Good morning. I see that you have kept your word. Yeah, well, yeah you see that? <laughs> oh, who am I speaking to? My little lady from Wessels? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, good, good. Thanks for calling in. How are you doing? I'm okay. You don't have a question for the doc, do you? I'm um, not really. All right, good. Well, thank you for calling in. Okay. We love you and we care for you. <laughs> uh -huh. Bye now. Oh, Hotel California, I'll be back. He goes, this is my song, you know. Yeah, I like the part where he says some people, they got memories of, of, of their, uh, this lady out there, and she had some memories, and guys, she was having all these guys in the hotel, and he said they were dancing in the courtyard. Some dance to remember. <laughs> and some dance to forget. All right, I'll be right back. Hear that melody? It can go on and on and still sweet, man. That's the Eagles there. Hotel California, that was a big hit, boy. Uh, so, let's recap some of the things you need to do to keep yourself going. Take care of your body. You see, you look at your body, get up and look and enjoy the chairs. Stand in front of the mirror and look at what you have, what the good Lord has given to you. Uh, you cream your body, just cream it from head to toe. Vitamin E in that body. Uh, and then you look at the outside, all right, you can fix the outside. Um, how about the inside? You want to make sure the inside is good, so that's what the blood test and all those things are about. You should check your sugar on those things at least once a year. But some of the things to keep you going and to take care of that body, don't forget to drink four to six glasses of water every day, whether you want it or not. Just drink it. Stay away from the saturated fats, things that can trans fat, cook fried foods and, uh, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken and all the deep fried stuff, you know, and the pizza and all that stuff. I mean, I don't mind every now and then, but it shouldn't be habit habitual. It shouldn't be every week and every day. Uh, sleep. Give yourself six to eight hours of rest every night. Don't forget the exercise. People who exercise are healthier people. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 30 minutes of exercise three times a week. That's what you should do. And not just go walking and strolling. Brisk walk, running, riding, jumping, skipping, swimming, 
I don't care. Anything that increases your heart rate and lastly, decrease your stress levels. Find a way to do it. You must find a way to do it. Some people read the word. It always does help. I do. But, you know, you could go for walks. Nice, simple walks with your lover, whole hands, and talk about love and life, and look, listen to the birds as they sing, and, and you could go fishing, and those type of things. Go with the family, the picnic. Anything that will decrease your stress level. Because stress in itself causes all of those disease we mentioned above. We love you, and we care for you, and we think of you every week. That is why we bring this program. Some people think it's advertising. I don't think it is. I think I, I think I, we have a great following out there who wants to hear about these things that people normally don't speak about every day. And that is why this program is about bringing health, bringing health care to you in a fashion that is appetizing between the sheets Amy Whitehouse, you know, that's my girl, man, Amy. She's gone too soon, but um, we're going to live for a long time. And I look forward to seeing you next week, God willing, 9 to 9.30, on Living Between the Sheets, Amy Whitehouse. And I'll see you next week.